Hello, this is Hi Bob Warbob, and let's play some Ultimate General Civil War. Hello, and welcome back. Today, we are doing the camp after Malvern Hill. All we need is six units, or seven units. Seven units for Kettle Run. So all we have to do is decide what type of seven units do we want. Do we want to bring in seven one stars? We have... Uh, six hours in this battle. It starts at 4.03 and goes till 10.30. So we have time. One thought that I've had is what if I bring guys that with the commander they're given, they don't have two stars, but... Before the battle, I give them a commander to give them that second perk. So, like, I use my best three-star general, make a unit. Then I use, uh, that has two stars, like, right on the dot, two stars. Then I run them for, like, four hours to get enough stamina that then they would be two stars again. It's an interesting thought. And I could figure out how much stamina they need based on how much they've dropped and see if I can get it done. So, um, go ahead and replace this guy with, we'll just grab a base breeder to general, that's fine. Um, so now I need to make a two star. Let's see. We can grab one of these guys. Maybe this one. And then add some experience to it. Okay. I need to get rid of... I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all the um, manpower, and I'll be right back. Oh, first things first. There's two ways you can go from this point. You can go two into economy or two into medicine, is my opinion. Um, we might want to pick up the fourth core for second bull run because um, you can bring four cores with 20 men in them, um, 20 units in each. So that is an option that we'll have to look into as we get closer to that. But there's no reason to waste it right now. But whenever I'm looking at other people's runs, it looks like at least these first two battles is really low losses. Um, let's see here. We can pull up what... I'll pull up so I can see. Um, I was looking at, um, like, Civil War 64, Legendary Run, um, on... Uh, Union Kettle Run he lost like a thousand and like Thoroughfare Gap 1,700 so that's not really too bad now you start getting this second bull run he's got a 6,000 there I mean I did lose 5,000 at Gaines Mill I mean 5,000 at um, Malvern Hill and uh, like 3,500 at uh, Gaines Mill which I mean, it's a little high, um, but I don't think that I'm going to have a battle where I lose just way too many men, um, at least not here right off the bat. Um, now, of course, since I technically am going for trying to get maxed out, I guess medicine would be the best one to get because the only way you get more men is politics and medicine. Economy doesn't get you more men. Um, it just gets you better guns. And how much difference is that actually going to make in my losses? Probably not that much. Um, I mean, that would be 8% restored instead of 4% restored. It is pretty good, but 
I just don't... I don't think it's worth it. I mean, 4% more losses returned. So if I lose 1,000 men, I gain 40? I mean, I gain 80 instead of 40. So... That's just with these two points, though. Um, so if I put in all my points up to second bull run, that would be six points in. And that would be giving me 80 more men per 1,000 lost. So almost 100 men per 1,000 lost. That is significant, because if I lose 3,000 men or... Let's say 6,000 men at second bull run. If I lose 6,000 men, that would be almost 600 men that I would get just for having put my points into medicine. I mean, I put it that way. Kind of makes sense. I need to do some math. I will be back. So, after much thought and deliberation, medicine second we will want to get four cores by second bull run but we don't need to do that until right before bull run from what I can tell we'll get about 40 men per 1,000 per two points in medicine so 20 per 1,000 and that doesn't seem like a lot, but I think it's better than not having any. I'll be back whenever I have more done. So I just realized that I'm an idiot because I can make a 500 man two star unit, give it the perks, make it 2,500, and whenever they gain experience, they'll have the perks. No need to go through this whole thing with this guy. At all. Because I'm a genius. Not really. What it does allow me to do is get like a pretty consistent idea of how many points I might be able to gain. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into the battle with like a one of these guys like maxed out here. Um, like this and um, see how much stamina I can gain so that I know how much I should think that I'll gain. Okay, I'll be right back. So you should just ignore all that stuff I've been saying. You gotta hit the two star before the battle or it doesn't work. It's too bad. Just tested it a bunch. Doesn't work. So, there's my army. Once again, I will name it and uh, be in the battle. Had to go with like a three-star general to get these guys to not have too much negative efficiency. I mean, it's not bad. It's like one or two points is all. So overall, really simple battle, just straightforward. Just got to attack, take the point, and uh, want to try to gain as much um, stamina after that as possible. You guys have a good one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Well, this has been a blast. Hope you guys have had as much fun as I've had. I'll see you again in the next episode. You guys have a good one, 